Yeah, it'll be exciting. It is every year. It's, uh, you know, it's an anxious time of year for the players, for the coaches, for the fans. You're, you think you're set up to have a good year, and yet you don't know until you put in the work. So we're excited to get started. We're playing against a real good team, and it should be fun. Has this been a work in progress to get the balance that you've had here now, Mike, a uh, third year as coach? Well, I, you know, I guess you just come into each year and you do the best you can with what the group you have and try to make them better. And, and in the end, the better players you get, the better coach you become. So, you know, we're hoping this is the best year of the first three I've been here. And saying all that, I thought we did lots of good things last year and it's going to be hard to be better. What was your message to Kali when you, when you sent him back to the Marlies? Uh, you know, just play good. You know, that's just the bottom line is uh, he's a good player. He'll be here sooner than later and uh, play well. Mike, what's the biggest challenge in your experience for second-year players in the usual highly skilled guys? What, what are they going to face in the second year that they have to be ready for? Well, the people know who they are. Now, you know, it's not like they didn't know who Matthews was last year, but now they really know who he is. I mean, uh, you know, it's like any player in the league. You're trying to get better each and every year, and the best players find ways to get better. They work that much harder, and they're committed that much more, and they train that much harder, and, and they keep taking steps. There's a lot of good players in the league that don't take steps, though, and so that has a lot to do with your off-ice season, your passion for the game. Uh, the stars have unbelievable passion, and they keep getting better. A lot of your guys have talked about being hungrier this year uh, than last. How have you seen that sort of manifest itself through this camp and preseason? Well, I haven't seen that yet. We're gonna, we'll see if it happens. You know, uh, it, it's been exhibition, and I think our guys have worked and all that uh, in the second half in particular. But uh, there's going to be a whole new level here tonight uh, of excitement, of enthusiasm, of physicality, of speed, and so on. That's what you get measured on. Can you tell us who the alternate captains will be tonight? Uh, same as last year. Winnipeg's excited about what they're building. They just signed the Ehlers kid to a big extension. Uh, it's the same in Calgary. It's the same in Edmonton. It's the same with you guys. How, what does that do for hockey when it's Canadian markets with all this young talent and all this hope all of a sudden? Well, I think it's exciting for those markets, but I would tell you there's a whole lot of U.S. teams that think they got the same thing going on. You guys are just focused on these groups because, <laughs> you know, there was a couple of dead years there, and so now these teams look like they're back, and yet, you know, Pittsburgh set the standard in the National Hockey League the last little bit, and before that, L.A. and Chicago, and so, uh, you know, these teams, we can talk about the potential, but in the end, you got to deliver, and so we're, that's what we're all trying to do. Size, skill, speed. You know, they've been good for a number of years, so and they're getting better. What would make for a successful NHL debut tonight for a boardman? No, just don't be in any video clips tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>